Hi, my name is Cindy. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and check out my DIYs. If you've been here before, so glad that you came back. Today, I have some bees and sunflowers that are cute and easy to make. So keep watching as spring awakens. Let's get rolling. DIY number one, a sunflower tag. The supplies needed include a wooden tag, air dry clay with a sunflower mold, yellow, white, king's gold acrylic paint, brown acrylic wax, jute and some wood glue, black, natural and yellow beads, and stickers and I had to change from the original sticker that I had or rub-ons black and white ribbon and hot glue I purchased a wood tag from Michaels after Christmas and only paid 50 cents for it I painted it white and then use antique wax around the edges and the grooves in the middle of the tag. Then I used air dry clay to make three sunflowers and painted them light yellow and highlighted them with king's gold. The center was painted with antique wax and they look pretty good. I staggered the placement of them on the tag so I could put some words on the tag. Now I originally put a rub on with the words, love begins at home. However, it did not work out. So I changed to some small black letters and I put the words shine on. I used some jute to string through the opening and added beads in yellow, black, and natural. And then I made a tassel and I just made it with my fingers. And then I tied checkered black and white ribbon around the jute. And it's just different. I didn't want the regular tassel, so I kind of made a little shortcut. And because I'm going to use this on my tiered tray, I used the end of a wooden snake. Now, this was cut off while making a previous DIY. And so this is why I was saying back then, you can save some of those things because you never know when you can use some of those items. Now I used wood glue to adhere to the back of the tag so it would stand upright. And it would even look better when I add my other items to the tiered tray in the future. So keep watching. Now, sunflower and beads is an open craft challenge. The host is none other than Sunflower Tasha DIYs and Z9 Designs. These two women are a ray of sunshine and you must check out their channels. Be sure to subscribe, like, save, and comment. The link to their channels is in the description box below. Also, there are other collaborators that are in this challenge that will make you smile, so check them out also. The link to the playlist is in the description box below. So now we're going on to some painting. DIY number three, sunflower painting. The supplies needed include a canvas board, this is from Dollar Tree, a bee stencil from Timu, and then I use the same paints that I use for my tag, and that is acrylic paint in King's Gold, yellow, khaki, black, and brown. You need a pencil to sketch out the sunflower, paintbrush, and a picture frame to put your beautiful painting in. I thought I would try my hand at painting. Now, just to let you know, I'm not an artist, but a how about a wannabe artist? 
So I am going to be taking classes soon, so don't judge me too hard, please. I used a hard canvas and basically drew the sunflower on, but then decided to paint a coat of white acrylic paint over it, which was not a problem because I could still see the outline of the sunflower. So I started with yellow paint to make the petals come alive. And since I was painting one sunflower, I will try to do my best on this one. So after it was a little dry, I used some King's Gold to highlight the petals. And left the center to paint brown highlighted with white. I made a stem brown and the leaves more of a light king's gold. Put a few dots here and there, just kind of scattered around and khaki was used at the bottom of the canvas and I just kind of watered it down so it wouldn't be too, too much. And at the top of the canvas, I put some light yellow paint just to give it a little interest to the top. Next, I had a bee stencil, and I used that because bees like sunflowers. And then I used black and yellow to fill in the proper spaces and a bit of khaki for the wings. So, you know, it's not vivid, but I think that's okay. The black frame embraces the painting, and for now, it looks just fine. So let's get on to what a real bee looks like. So DIY number three, it is a bee bag. Supplies needed include a cotton bag, a iron-on bee decal, a piece of cardboard, some cloth to put over the decal, ironing board, and iron. That is all that you need. Now, I purchased a decal from Timu of a bee a few months ago, and that decal proved to be vivid and beautiful. I was really kind of surprised when I opened the package because it looks so real. I had a bag that was given to me at a conference I attended some time ago, and I put a piece of cardboard in the inside of the bag to protect uh, maybe potential sticking of the decal. I didn't know how it was going to work. Then I found the right spot on the outside of the bag, making sure that the bee was right side up. I placed the decal on the bag and I covered it with a cotton cloth. And then I put the iron on hot and I moved it over the cloth that I had put on top of the decal until I was sure that it was adhered to the bag. Now that took several minutes and there was one little part that was giving me some trouble. It just wasn't wanting to come off of the paper. And somehow, if that part did not adhere, no one would really notice because it was on the very edge. But I wanted you all to see the entire bee. So once I was sure that it was all on, I removed the plastic part that was over the bee to reveal the most beautiful iron-on decal that I've ever seen. And I think even a bee would be fooled. 
Now, my dad was a beekeeper, so I kind of know how they are, so I stay away from them, but this one is beautiful. I will be taking it to the grocery store with me pretty soon. I would like to know what you think about this one. If you have liked these spring bee and sunflower DIYs, please subscribe to my channel and join in the fun. And you can also follow me on social media, Instagram, threads, and TikTok. And thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. And remember, joy is not in things. It is in us. This is by Richard Wagner. But I say it is in God. Have a great day. See you later. Bye-bye.